Have you ever found yourself endlessly scrolling through TikTok and you saw videos where the person is always in frame and you wondered, how can I do it? How do they do it? Well, in this video, I'll show you step by step how you can do it too. The first step is creating a composition and selecting the clip that you want to use. Since I've already created a composition and I've already selected a clip that I want to use, I'll skip to the next step, which is finding the tracker panel. If you do not find your tracker panel, go to window and select track. Once you do it, all of the windows should close except for your tracker panel. Once you're inside of the tracker panel, click on stabilize motion. This will open a window and you'll find two squares. The large square is for the search area and the smaller square is for the subject that you want to track. I recommend having both of the squares small so that it takes less time to render the entire thing. So that's the reason why I'm only putting the squares on his nose instead of his entire face. Now after you've done that, click on options and change adapt feature to stop tracking. The reason is, this will allow you to stop and correct the tracking if the person moves too much. Now we can actually start the process of tracking the face. What we have to do is click that start button over there. Now keep in mind that the more powerful your computer is, the faster this process will be. While this is running, you can watch YouTube or do something else, because this will take quite a long time. But remember to keep an eye on it, because sometimes it will stop and you'll have to correct it. Now after this is done, click on apply, and then a window should pop up with two directions. X is for horizontal and Y is for vertical. I'll select both so that it moves in both directions. Now after we did that, we can adjust using the transform controls. Now I'll move this entire clip so that the face fits inside of the frame and that there are no more black bars, meaning that, that the clip is out of frame. I personally recommend you switching from full to quarter resolution because otherwise it will take way more time to play back the entire video to see if you have any mistakes. Now some people like to add motion blur but I personally do not like motion blur as it decreases the quality a lot when the person is moving a lot. I wouldn't recommend you turning on motion blur but in case you want it I'll just put it up on the screen. Now this should be fine for most people but sometimes the face takes up all of the space in the frame so you end up having black bars because if you zoom in too much the face ends up taking the entire frame making the video unpleasant to watch. You can easily fix this by adding an effect called motion tile. This essentially creates a mirror around the entire border of the clip increasing its size artificially. Once you've added this effect, go into effect controls and find motion tile in there and then click on mirror edges. This will allow you to mirror instead of tiling the entire frame and change both of the outputs to 160. In my opinion, this is the best settings for motion tile. I remember that you can choose any size for motion tile. However, the more you increase it, the more time it will take to render the entire video. I also personally don't like when this effect mirrors the head, so I'll move this down so that instead of mirroring the head, it mirrors the body. Now the last thing for making this edit complete is by adding a good color correction. A good color correction will bring a good edit to a great edit. So if you would like to have the same color corrections as me, and if you would like to have the same quality as me, then consider buying my color corrections. If you do not know what a color correction is and you've just started After Effects, I'll explain you quickly what it does. It basically does many things in one. First of all, it makes the entire video more vibrant. It also makes it more sharpened and it adds detail to the video. My channel isn't monetized, so if you would like to support me and really appreciate it so the store link will be the second link in the description so now the last step of finishing your edit is just rendering it out or continuing to do your edit now personally i'm done with my edit as i'll just be using this as an example at the beginning of the video so anyways thank you for watching and i hope to see you soon in another tutorial i'll hopefully do another one also, if you have any suggestions for a future tutorial or you just want to hang out with like-minded people, then you can join my Discord server. It will be the first link in the description.